This is Mark from Team How To, and we're teaching the masses how to. Hey guys, today I want to show you how to merge two faces together using Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop 4, but um, if you want, if you have uh, the Photoshop 6 or newer, I'll kind of give you some ideas of how to do what I'm doing, but di slightly differently. So I'm going to take this face with the bubble gum, and the, just the eyes and the nose and the mouth. And then I'm going to transplant it onto her face, and then we'll see how close we can get that to looking right. So, first thing we want to do is make sure this background is unlocked. So I'm just going to grab this lock, drag it down here, and when you see the lock there, you can let go of it, and that unlocks the layer. You could also duplicate the layer, but this seems to be easier for me. So next thing I need to do is go back to the other picture, and I'm going to grab what part of her face I want to take with me. So what I want to get is the lasso tool, and I'm just going to go around her eyes like this, across and down. Kind of keep it tight. If you white, get too wide, then you end up running into somebody else's hair or whatever. So we're going to go Control-C for copy. We're going to click back over here to this one. And I will do... I'm going to switch to this so when I can drop it, I can move it around. Control-V, as in Victor. And now I've got this ready to move where I want. And what I'm going to do is get it pretty close. I'm going to try to put it over her eye. And I'm going to change this opacity down so I can see better. So around 50%. Now, what I like to do is kind of line the eyes up first and go from there, get my face tilted the same. So my nose and my eyes seem to be tilted about the same. Now what I want to do is start bringing the eyes into the same width as the other. So I'm just kind of working these handles on each side to kind of get the eyes and the nose. The nose isn't going to be exact, but we can try bringing this over a little more if we want. We can need to decide whether we want wider eyes or the nose to be slightly off, off kilter. I think that looks pretty darn good, all things considered. I'm going to hit OK up here. Now the next thing we're going to want to do, if we're on a CS4, we're going to do a control click right here on this icon. And that just selects the pixels we're using. If you were on a CS6 or newer, you could just right click the same area and do select pixels. So once we've done that, we come up to select. We are going to inverse, and we're going to do select again, and then we're going to go down to modify, and we want to expand. We're going to expand the six pixels, and it'll probably be defaulted as one. Hit OK there, and you can see what it does is it brings it in, and that's the little bit of buffer space it's going to use to merge one face to the other. So it needs that little bit to play with. Next thing we'll do is we'll go back into select and inverse again so, we're, so we have the right thing selected. Next thing we need to do is come over here. We're going to turn the eyeball off on our, our bubblegum face layer. We're going to highlight this layer down here. And we're going to hit the delete key. And you can see that it got rid of her face. Now we're going to bring this other face back in by using the eyeball. Select the layer. Turn this all the way back to full. And you can kind of see where we're headed with this. You can still see there's lots of tone differences, but that's okay. Next step is awesome. What we want to do is control click this again. That way it gives us all of the selection, or right-click and select pixels if you're using the CS6 or new. Next thing we need to do is control-click the original layer, so we've got both highlighted. And then we're going to come up to Edit, drop down to Auto Blend Layers. We're going to leave this on Panorama and Seamless Tones and Colors, and hopefully it will seamlessly tone and color it. Excellent. I'm going to use Control-D for deselect. And look at that. All right, well, hopefully you learned something there, and I think we did a pretty good job. Hey, did you remember to subscribe?